go to Uthin uh, Jeremiah, um, who writes that um, as the book uh, Black Hawks Rising captures uh, the stories of those brave people behind Amisam, what is the best lesson uh, we can learn from those people? And one more post while we add it, uh, this time from Nukula uh, Herbert Wairagara Jr. He asked, is there an invisible hand behind his authoring this book? I hope he talks about some of the negatives of Amisam as well. Well, Dr. Oloya, once again, your thoughts. And I also wanted to add that many people did ask, where can they get the book? But I think that uh, we should really give a chance to uh, uh, Milton to Milton. respond. Fair and enough. then you Fair enough. Up, yeah. Fair enough. Um, Milton, how do you respond to that? Well, I would, I would just like to build on what uh, uh, Dr. Oloya said. I think nobody can deny that Somalia has come a long way from where it was 10, 15 years ago or 20 years ago after the collapse of Siad Bare. So great credit to Ugandan what? President Yoweri Museveni and the UPDF <laughs> for having pioneered Absolutely. the effort. Yes. Absolutely. As I said, you know, the soldiers need to get the credit where they deserve. And yes. I think this book does credit to that. Yes. But on the other hand, in order to build on this success, I think the operation needs to be expanded. It should not be seen as identified exclusively with Uganda. General Museveni alone cannot put sufficient pressure on the Somali political players that you need to resolve your politics so eventually all African soldiers can go home. I think if you have more African countries involved, yes. including maybe South Africa, including Nigeria, including Ghana, they can put collective pressure on the Somali players on the ground to resolve their politics so that the troops can go home. Because that ultimately has to be the ultimate solution. We can't have an open-ended operation where Uganda is still there for another 5, 10, 15 years. You know, That's untenable. It's